Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is December 22nd, three days until Christmas. I still have presents to wrap. I still have houses to clean and I still have lots of other stuff to do that I'm probably forgetting about. But today I'm gonna turn myself into the Grinch. More specifically, I'm gonna try following Nikki Tutorial's tutorial on the Grinch, the She Grinch, I guess, and uh, see if I can make it happen. I put this on Instagram a while ago on my story, like, should I do this or not? And uh, the vast majority of you said I should, and I probably should have watched Nikki's video before agreeing to do this, because once I did, I realized that she says near the end that it took her nearly six hours to do. Yeah, so, uh, come along and see if I can uh, make myself look grinchy. Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, the brush I'm using is a Morphe... It's got no number. <laughs> okay, I guess we're gonna start by going into the Mirror in Paradise palette. Into Amazon Green, which is what she's using. Yep. Here we go. I think he does her neck last, but I'm just gonna get it out of the way so I don't have to go in with that green color. Again. This is about the worst feeling ever. Concealer, <laughs> green concealer. No, this is face paint too. I'm just using a lighter shade underneath my eyes and stippling it in, and then using that same stippling motions to buff in. Don't question it. Come too far. My husband's coming. Okay, I want to approach this as I always would, so now I'm going in with a setting powder. So I'm taking a green matte, very important, matte eyeshadow and just setting underneath the eyes. It's going to make everything a little bit more vibrant and I just want to make sure that, you know, everything stays in place. Even though it's a, a paint, I want to approach it as... <clears throat> Uh, well, this is where I'm going to deviate away from what she's doing because the water-based paints, they don't need to be set. And this is uh, probably one of the reasons it took her a bit longer because she like did these extra steps, which I'm sure is part of the reason why it looks amazing on her. But I don't have, I don't have that kind of time. So I'm going to skip the setting with a green shadow and move on. Okay, so I feel like this is the base, and then now we're adding dimension by using a green color and a white. Well, this is looking a little busted. <laughs> because I forgot that... It's supposed to be a glam Grinch for a second here. I'm just going straight Grinchy. Okay, so she said she's gonna go in next with uh, black and white to add dimension to these brows. So I made some of these lines to blend where I started. So all I'm doing is going in with water and the black there will sort of muddy it up a bit. So I'm starting by darkening the center of my forehead by just adding a line. Then I'm making my brow bone, like the actual bone, more prominent by creating a little crevice right here. See how that's making this more forward? I am going to take a black shadow from one of the Naked Basic palettes. Actually, I think it's more like a dark gray, which is fine. 
and I am just gonna deepen Okay, so next she takes that same darker color and she connects the brows to the center line. Like that. Now mixing a yellow with a white shadow and I'm using this to highlight. I'm just gonna go in and just define my brow. I feel like now I just have a unibrow. So I just wanted to define the underneath there a little bit more. Now, of course, I wanna be Mrs. Grinch, so I'm gonna make this super glittery and glam and fun. I'm She's going in now to do like a glam Grinch um, and doing like a fun eye look. So um, I'm gonna do the same, but I'm gonna do like the simplest one possible just for the sake of time. The face paints are making this a little hard to blend and I've used this palette and it's not hard to blend. So I just feel like I need to give you all that warning. Like if you are going to use eyeshadow over top, you might want to think about doing something a little more liquid. So I'm going to go in with the Stila Diamond Dust Liquid Eyeshadow and just literally cover my whole lid. So first I'm going to sketch in the nose. Filling that in using a taupey shadow first. Some white on the very tip to highlight. And like Nikki, I'm going to go in with a taupey shadow, so I'm going to use a mixture of Gravity and Titan from the Alien palette. Who knew the Jeffree Star Alien palette will come in so handy for a cringe look? Okay, then a line straight down the center of the nose towards the lip. Say. I think 330. I think 330. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. And the center one is actually going to be connected to the first sort of smile mouth wrinkle. Okay, so this is a rough sketch of where the wrinkles and the shading should be. So the first one is connected to the center one on the nose. This one is detached and follows the shape of the first one. And then this one, um, what's important to note is that the shadow goes upwards. For the other two, the shadow goes inwards. And of course, using white to highlight. I'm gonna put my wrinkles like literally in my wrinkles because I think that will look the most realistic. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, for the lip, you just want to do the bottom, so I'm going to remove the paint. Okay, and as the finishing touch, the little dots for, I, I don't even know what they are. And that, guys, concludes one of the hardest makeup looks I've ever had to do in my life in the Never Would I Ever Makeup Challenge. You. This was super hard, she's right. And she's like crazy talented for turning it into something like this. All right, guys, I think I'm done. <laughs> that was really cute and fun. So I'm just gonna put my shirt back on. And I don't have an amazing green wig like Nikki. I, I'm gonna put a hat on and then I think we're good. That's it, guys. <laughs> uh, I think that took me an hour and a bit, an hour and a half. Uh, not as good as Nikki's, but uh, she she's a good instructor. Gotta give her that because she made it pretty easy for me, even though she obviously admitted to having her own learning curve on it. Um, so Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays you guys. Thank you for coming back to my channel and um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget that there's a Sephora gift card being given away when we reach 200 subscribers which is only about I think 10 people away right now. Bah humbug. Wait what is it going to say? Wrong evil Christmas person. Anyways guys. Thanks for coming back and I'll see you in the new year.